Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Capital. Partnership for a Buckeye Free America. Yes, indeed. Please heed. All right. Uh, Trumbull and Bagley and a nice redone Werner sign and a nice building here. I wonder if those are probably rooms up top. Be nice to live in historic Corktown, but there's the gnome and he's winking at us. But uh, deliciously different and you can get here by scooter. My sister and I had uh, lunch there at that corner restaurant. Very, very good. And here's a dancer escaping from a birdcage. There's quite a few good murals around town these days. There's an interesting scooter skateboard kind of thing. I've never seen... There's my sister, Sue. Uh, happened to be out on Belle Isle the day they had the hydroplane boat races. And can kind of, at various times, can kind of hear them in the background, but... There's the recently renamed Aretha Franklin Park, or Amphitheater, uh, and the Ambassador Bridge has some traffic, and the Detroit River is a glistening, and this was, a, what was it, a Saturday afternoon, and... Um, Mississaugi, if I'm pronouncing that right, Mississaugi. So, good day for boat sightseeing. A lot of pleasure craft on the island. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen the boat races, but by the time we got to that side of the island, they had called it for the day, so... Uh, we could certainly hear them though. Anyways, this is the southernmost tip, and this is a great viewing spot actually if you want to check out the Detroit fireworks. But the secret, secret is already out though, a lot of people do that. Uh, and Belle Isle, known for family reunions and picnics and the like, and on a beautiful day like this, a lot of people. Uh, we're doing just that. Now, a nice fountain. And when the Detroit Grand Prix took place, well, back in June, I guess it was. Or was it July? I think it's maybe July now. The, uh, the victors took a little dip in the pool. This is a good photo op here. And actually with the... And I think this was a sweet 16. At first I thought maybe it was a wedding party. We'll see a little of that shortly. But this looks like a sweet 16 party. And so they were taking pictures. And it looks like that's the, uh, the chauffeur or the limousine van type thing. But this fountain, it's quite a bit. There's volunteers that work on that to keep that going. Uh, Taylor, oh, no, it's Taylor Chevrolet that says yes. That was Taylor Ford. I don't know what Taylor Ford says. Uh, but this is an interesting fountain, to be sure. A lot of maintenance. And this is the guy responsible for kind of a curmudgeon, kind of like the Maddie Maroon of his day, James Scott. He's got like two first names, but part of his gig was when he passed away or whatever, he uh, gave us this nice phone. So kudos to him for, uh, for doing all that. And it's an extensive phone. I didn't realize it was layered like this. I probably had seen it before, but uh, this is, it ramps down a couple of times.
All right, and we continue the tour of Belle Isle. Uh, my sister lives in uh, one of the suburban cities of Chicago, but she remembers back in the day. She stops by and comes by here often enough, but it's been a while for her to, uh, to be to Belle Isle. So we were doing a little sightseeing, a little exploring. Here you see a wedding party. Uh, and the photographer there in action, getting the, the men together. The women have to patiently wait. All right, this is the Scripps Whitcomb Conservatory. We'll, it was closing at 5, so we'll just get a... A quick peek inside. I'll just kind of zip around here real quick. Uh, it's certainly worthy of spending uh, an hour or so or a little bit more time, but being that they were closing, I had to walk fast. And then back here, another wedding party. They found a good photo op there. So in the fernery. So and then there's cacti. And I'll get a picture with more of the wedding party. Say cheese. Okay. A banyan tree. This is interesting. It had like three growths coming out. And then they joined up a little bit later. Okay, back outside. Uh, the bride there with her wedding party. Now, just next door to the conservatory or the botanical garden is the aquarium. Gosh darn, I've been wanting to get inside, but they close at 4 p.m., so only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, well, that was it for that. A Beavis and Butthead hanging out in my garage. I got a 67 Camaro behind all that. I got to get that uh, out of the garage. Uh, okay, going to head north, and boom, I'm already here where I want to be. Uh, free parking, good deal. I'm right where that blue dot is, just off I-75. The Michigan Renaissance Festival. So I had the map out here. It's near Mount Holly. Uh, and you can get off I-75. I think it's like mile marker 106 or something. If you get off at Grange Hall Road, you'll be doing yourself just fine. But here, Holly Grove. And those are one, two, three, four. Seven, eight weekends they have this, uh, the Renaissance Festival. And this has been going on for many a year and quite popular. And it was a gorgeous day here. <laughs> All weapons. You're allowed to bring weapons, not like guns, but a lot of people have their swords and so forth. Uh, $23.95. I got a complimentary ticket from my brother-in-law, Chris. They have a booth set up here. And we'll check that out a little bit later. The Royal Glassmakers. Here's the lay of the land. Uh, very walkable thing. And they got signs that will point you wherever you need to go. Here you can get a henna tattoo. And you can get turkey legs. Oh, and barbarian burgers. <laughs> You can get yourself a beer too. Oh, and if you want, you can bring your dogs. I think you just have to show that they got all their shots and everything. But, And I'm not sure if they have an admission price or not. Uh, they have an axe throw, a star throw. They have archery. And so there's a proper way to do it, especially when he's not in the way. 
or her. That's the, the star throw. Here they go. And then they have a little parade here. She is the queen, her majesty. I don't know, was she throwing out candy there? I was not lucky enough to procure any of the goodies. But yeah, a nice little parade. And yeah, they have signed certain death is to the right. And royal servants only. Um, so you're not allowed in there. Now, a lot of shows, so th this is one that's quite popular, the Dead Bob Show. Across the land. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gee, he was a second French seductress. Throat, <laughs> <laughs> on the other hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many? Uh, Three. Three. And the pickles are real popular. They have a lot of pickle carts. Okay, you got to beware of the signs. A lot of people get dressed up too. We'll see that, which is a lot of fun. I'm going to capture as many people as I can. All life started taking place in public houses. Like weddings, funerals, business, all your meals. People spent the... Yeah, there's a lot to see. You got to keep your eyes open and so forth. They even have a stockade, so if you misbehave, uh, they'll throw you in there, and you got to pay big bucks to get out. Um, and there's a. Then they have a castle, and they have dinners here. And uh oh. They chased me out of there. You have to pay money to get that. You know, the tape is, is going to act up a little bit here. There's a bad... I'm not digital yet. I got a high 8 tape. We're going to have a bad stretch. Here, uh, dog getting a drink of water. Here's another show. Where they start this up where what you are witnessing is the real deal. And for that... <laughs> Oh, this is great. You'd think it's a plant, but no, it's a living plant. So it's a great photo op. It's like one of those ficus plants, and he's got a hedge fund. So he, he obviously uh, plays the stock market. This is the main stage area, uh, the jousting, and I think that's the queen up there uh, checking out the action. Yeah, I'm going to get a bad stretch of tape here in about 30 seconds, and hopefully we can get through it. It's always something. But it's a family event with the kids of all ages. Families, at the, yeah, the, woo, there's the bad tape. Let's see if I can work through this. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have to fast. Okay. Whew. All right, we made it through that rough patch. Yeah, it was a bad piece of tape. So anyways, now the food, fried appetizers, chicken and chips, 
Turkey legs, they were $9. That one's really popular. They got frozen treats. You can get a, a look at the crowd here. A lot of pubs here. You can see the, the beers that are available. Somewhere along the way, I think I show what the price was. Uh, here, a dog with <laughs> Howdy Doody on his back or something like that. A lot of people with costumes. They even, I think this was fairly new. You can get your uh, coffee fix. This is a real popular show, the, uh, the laundry ladies. The washing wench ladies or whatever. Washing well, washing well wenches. So every two hours they have a show. I'll stop by and catch part of it. They're a lot of fun. The shows, you know, can run 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I don't stick around. Here are the major jousts. They have three of them during the day. Let's go. We can trip out there. We just get our hands here. Heaven's sakes, I hope they're being careful. My lord. It looks dangerous, this stuff. But, uh, yeah, they had quite the crowd here. Uh, plenty of activities for the kids. If they want to get some energy out, they can do a little bouncing. And lots of characters. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, they pass around the tip. This is the mighty oak tree. Yeah, they pass around the tip jar. So if you got a singles in your pocket, you bring some of those along. Uh, we made it now to the royal glass makers, and they have bosom chillers. So if you have a lady that's well endowed, that would uh, help to cool her off. But uh, we'll watch my brother-in-law, Chris Nordine. He's here with with a piece that he's working on the bench now. His assistant is Joey. And uh, they'll make custom pieces all day long. We'll listen in and, and watch them a little bit. They make a lot of beer mugs and wine glasses and certainly uh, pieces that fit the theme of the uh, Renaissance Festival. What do you guys think of that nice accent application up towards the top? Looking good? Got lots of head knock. Really, 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 really high. We're gonna flare it open. Make it nice and level on the top and then I'm gonna get ready with a handle. There you go, you can have it made before your very eyes. You can see the color pattern on here and you're starting to see some of that silver coming out on the surface with those purple swirls. All right guys, you appreciate his hard work and skilled craftsmanship. That's why I came back and got right the heat source. So I want to make sure that that punk tee that's attached to the bottom of the piece doesn't get too cold. I'm going to use the, so if I don't... Uh... Yeah, this is Michigan Handmade. Have you guys put that tip over on the other side for me? Oh gosh, I can see why this is called a gravity handle. <laughs> More of any heat that actually is very smooth on the glass. So watch what happens when he drops this for me. Give a round of applause. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. 
And not only does having it hollow make it much lighter in the hand, I also add structural integrity to the piece. The arches on the inside of the handle is similar to the Roman arches that add all of the support to hold up their infrastructure in the city. So similar, that piece is going to be very long lasting, so long as you don't take it and smash it on the ground. So, if anybody is interested, this might be for sale. I believe. Yeah, we're going to do a decorative bit on the back too. I brought a leaf tool from the hot shop, so we're going to try and make a, a really flat. Yeah, what's nice here, if you want a custom piece made, get your phone out and you can uh, video or take your pictures, do whatever, and you'll have the memory of, of a custom made piece of glass for yourself your very, or for uh, a spouse, a uh, family member, or what have you. And. Uh, there you go. So he's a little embellishment here with a leaf, and then it'll cool overnight. Normally, where we would put a saddle, so that's some cool texture. A really beautiful accent. Nice work, Chris. That is awesome. If I haven't seen that. Chin off your bench, get it. There you go. Right out of the highway. That way I can walk through. So you guys that leaf bit. Move forward, if seats are freeing up up here, come on forward. It's real nice to see glass going up close. It's not something that you get to have happen. All right, well, there's plenty to see and do, so I'm going to keep walking. I'll be back here to check the Royal Glass Makers, and we'll get another custom piece made uh, next door they had some nice woodworking you can get smoothies plenty of people were were dressed up and you can see a lot of people that are dressed to the nines at the Guinness pub that seems like uh, a popular watering hole this guy I love his crown Real hat there? Why, this is my Burger King hat. It's a van Lord of Burgers. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, it's actually incredible. The incredible crown. But yeah, he, he lost his other crown, so he had to go with that one. But it, it works. Yeah, a lot of people are dressed up. There's a lot of eye candy, uh, certainly, to, uh, to be had. So that's, that's part of it, people watching. And I don't even know what the percentages are. It's probably at least 50% of the people are, are dressed up. Here's another pickle guy. I think the pickles were $2.00. And there's plenty of stages. So you just walk from one to the next, you're always going to see some kind of entertainment. Everybody now, I will never, ever, ever, for any reason, under any circumstance, even if somebody dares me to, because I'm a sucker for a dare, and I always go for it. A lot of times I get in trouble. Sometimes I don't advance. All right, you've got a few years. It'll be slow by that time. Yeah, they have face painting. Uh, meadery, too. That's uh, wine made with honey. So, and that seems popular. They got a whole tent set up for that. It used to be just like on one weekend, but now it seems they have it all for all eight weekends. Ooh, fire! There's a turkey leg getting worked on. Nice! Saving that technique is more, like more force. <laughs> All with it. Let the hammer do the work. Wench! Hey, working with it. We love working with it. I'm here for you. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's quite the family thing, uh, which, which is great. You know it's a family thing when you see uh, young kids on um, top of their dad's shoulders kind of thing, and kids were getting dressed up, and and he had the, the dogs out there. He had the entertainment. He had uh, food. You had plenty of shopping. Um, what else am I missing? Music. They even have a maypole. And different times, so. Not. Then they have flowers. Someone said that was uh, the colored one was uh, unicorn poop. And it tastes like Skittles or something like that, different flavors. But they have the regular caramel corn. Here they must have been practicing. There's a scruffy looking dog. Yeah, and if you're polite and ask um, people, I, a lot of people w will pose for photographs. I'm trying to do it discreetly. Uh, then they have the walking canes. Yeah, you can, you can do the whole ensemble and get your whole outfit. It used to be like it was just the adults that got dressed up, but now you see a lot of the youngsters doing it up also. It's almost like... Halloween, but, you know, like a month beforehand, and just the Renaissance Festival style, but there's a lot of audience participation, too, on these stages. And people, well, he made person, he made Adam, made him out of dirt. Wet dirt. You can test your hand at archery. This is a lot of fun, too. You got to gotta watch your language and so forth, but pester the jester kind of a thing. Yeah, that's what they call it, pester the jester. Uh, you get more throws for more money. Try to keep... Tomato lives matter. Interesting. Oh, how about it? Here, well, it's a little harder for them to dodge everything if there's three people going at it. I don't know what that, uh, it's like a Cupid doll down there. It looks like that one guy put a sign in front. But, yeah, they get nailed by uh, tomatoes. No sharks, no salt, mermaids, maybe. You know, all that... Running around, I did not bring a spare battery with me. So I had to walk back to the car and grab me a spare battery. But that's okay. Look, don't make me beg you, people. for saints or sinners. Here's a look at the. It opens, I guess, around 10, closes at 7 in the evening. But, um, you know, if you get there early, it's less crowded. The lines aren't bad. And, uh, yeah, you can get your weapons here. It's <laughs> this is the real deal, too. Uh, and the kids can get their face painted. And you can bring your dog. I'm trying to catch as many as I can.
And there's plenty of pubs where you can wet your whistle. So that's all part of it. Within reason, certainly, within reason. Feathers of pleasure, wow we what can you do with all that? But yeah, there's plenty of uh, shopping, so if you got money burning a hole in your pocket, you can do that, which is fun. You know, a lot of people like to do the shopping. Um, bring your dollar bills, too. Uh, so if you like the shows, you can tip the uh, performers. I will be standing in the middle of the stairs. My name is Harmless. Reminding you... Life is short, let's try to have some fun! Yeah! You feel like clapping! Oh, I missed, missed all that. I was trying to get a better shot. He actually juggled those things, those flaming weapons. And so, uh, some talented performers. If you feel horny, uh, you can get these uh, attachments, 30, 35, depending. And if you got some spare change, you can uh, drop it in this guy. A cursing well. Feel your life could be no worse. Toss in a coin and make a curse. Curse your enemies, curse your fate, curse pain, stupidity, war, and hate. And it goes on. But uh, yeah, plenty of things for the kids. Here, this one, what a nice little stroller there. And then you got these uh, puffy flowers. And you can make wax hands. Looky there. Yeah, first you, you dip your hand in cold water and then start the process. Yeah, you can uh, you can get a weapon here too. Uh, but yeah, you can be uh, do it up to the nines with your outfit. Then they have Fairyland here. I don't know if kids have a competition here and do it. So they have a hookah smoking area, if that uh, does it for you. And then they have a rock climbing wall. Was a great looking bulldog. There's I 75, so you can see the proximity uh, there. Pretty darn close. And it's northern Oakland County. Take that north to Grange Hall Road, and it's right on Dixie Highway. Nowadays, with MapQuest or Google Maps or however you do it, just put Michigan Renaissance Festival in your phone, and it'll take you right there. I mean, what a great deal that was with uh, with the phones. What you can do nowadays. 
It used to be I have all those maps had to deal with. Now it's easy as peasy. Okay, you can try your hand. They have a few places for for uh, throwing weapons. Then that's kind of neat. The ladies can dance that uh, with that and make a, a little noise. Here's another turkey leg, nine bucks. Vultures are very intelligent. Vultures, like a and then like they have uh, flying, birds, flying birds, falcon. Well, well this one's not a falcon. The next one will be. Well, they spend a lot of time exercising their birds, getting it ready for the next season. Well, I want to let you know, I have 41 birds. <laughs> a full-time job, I think, right? Well, what we do... Oh, I, I think that's the queen's chair, so she's got a nice view of the jousting area. People are queuing up for the next performance. I was just getting a nice peek before they chased me down. But, uh, yeah, interesting. You get the, the lay of the land here. But it's a great place to walk around. And uh, it, it's e very easy walkability. Just, oh, the washing well wench ladies. And they put on a good show.
washing well ladies put on a great show. I got myself a coffee and then had a view from a little deck. want to know your future you can do that if you want some caramel corn I didn't get the unicorn poop I got the uh, the standard caramel corn and uh, they just had it, people were dressed up incredibly it was it was nice uh, then I'll bet they kind of got a swampland area they got room that they could expand if they wanted to. Uh, back at the Royal Glassmakers, we're going to watch another performance here by my brother-in-law, Chris Nordine. He may be familiar to some people. Uh, they're may Chris and uh, my sister, Michelle, have the Glass Academy on the west end of Dearborn. And they've been at this for a good... God, 25 years or so. So this ain't their first rodeo. And uh, they've been out at the Renaissance Festival for about a dozen years, I think. But they really enjoy putting on a performance for the crowd. They always get a, a good group of people wanting to see how this is all done. And Chris makes it look easy. I mean, uh, that's part of being a professional at it. You make it look easy. <laughs> but uh, there's quite a bit of skill involved to be sure. So let's listen in a little bit.
three different segments. Pinch right in the center, a quick pull right at the end. See how it stretches that out? Really nice effect. We're going to go even out the lengths on each of those, heat it one more time, then do a little bit of fine tuning so it sits really nicely. Chris is going to make sure it sits flat. And then we're going to the Elven Leaf Chalice with gold iris foot. Beautiful swirl pattern over some gold iris. This piece is going to be beautiful. We're going to show you the before and after effect of the gold iris. You can see the amber color, that it's going to change a little bit. It's going to have a completely different exterior color that will look just gorgeous. I put one more in a volio, the connection on the stem, and I added You get it ready so that I can... He's got a nice tripod stand on there. I love that look. But this will be a, a, a beautiful piece. Uh, and so anything you want custom made, you can, uh, you can say, hey, I like this, I like that, and then take pictures. Watch it being made before your very eyes. The only thing is it's got to cool overnight, so you'd have to stop by the next day but, or get it mailed. But uh, the colors change a little bit when it cools, too. Like Chris said, it's going to be red, lipstick red, but... Uh, yeah, getting near the end here. And now we're going to put a little cold metal right on the end. Now Joey's holding it. I want a round of applause, folks. Woo! All right. Looking good. I'm going to do milk and cookies. Think we can squeeze an Oreo in there, Chris? Crush one up. Oreos are made to crush. I guess Chris likes his milk and cookies as a slurry. Crush it up, make a, a milkshake cookie slurry. Yeah, flurry? Yeah. The McFlurry was actually...
you can come and admire, admire the fine finished glasswork. And if you appreciate the entertainment, the quality show we provided, if you feel like you learned anything, drop a tip in the tip basket. A little bit goes a long way. And thank you much, folks. Go check out our gallery in there. We have everything handmade. As well, we're going to start another demonstration. Okay, so it goes in the cooling oven for uh, 14 hours. I know a day in the baby light Gotta go do the burglar's headset Can I have a word with you, she said I took a cup of egg, laid it in her eye Made that burglar start to cry Said, now, honey, let me make a little love For God's sake, you be the burglar cry You're out, short time in and a long time dead Let's make it some of my best my friends Yeah, my sister Michelle and my niece Lucy came by and they like to shop so we went around take another spin around the place they got mushrooms here for sale it is definitely a family friendly event kid friendly well yeah kid friendly pet friendly uh, you can buy candles there was uh, Michelle and Lucy yeah these candles I don't think you'd want to light them up you'd want to keep them as uh, artwork incense God, any number of things and what was crazy about it is uh, I only saw two empty spaces uh, for retail so the people must do pretty good out here um, to keep them all in business and all doing quite well Little smaller glass miniature pieces like pendants you can wear around your neck and uh, like a necklace or a bracelet. Uh, I think she had a bosom chiller, but I didn't want to pry too much. I'm doing my best not to get in people's faces. With the, there's Michelle, <laughs> as I say that and get a close up. But um, try not to pry too much. But people watching is awesome. to disobey a direct order, sir, but it's against English rules of law that the officer in the bagpipe go to the front lines. He says, aye, that's an English law. We're Scottish to the front. <laughs> Not to obey a direct order, Billy Millen struck in his pipes and he marched down that raft onto the beaches of Normandy. And the sound that he made startled the Germans so badly that they stopped shooting momentarily for only a short amount of time but it was just enough amount of time 
to allow the Allies to advance. Now, the Battle of Normandy marked went on and on and on. Now, this day, Billy Millen was armed with nothing but his bagpipes. No helmet, no armor, no special boots, nothing. No rifle, no pistol, nothing but his bagpipes. And up and down the beaches of Normandy he marched, playing hot and gladdy. Over to the battle. Billy Millen asked his commanding officer, I have one question that I need to ask those German soldiers. And he was granted that wish. And he sat across from a Nazi sniper, face to face, and he asked him the question that burned him, burned into his mind the whole time. He had to know, why didn't you shoot me? And that Nazi sniper looked him directly in the eye, and this is the honest truth, and he said these words, we did not shoot you because we thought it would be in poor taste to shoot a crazy person. <laughs> right? Folks, thanks for watching. I got a little bit more for next week or the next show. And then also I'm going to have the Michigan Marching Band in action. All righty, good night. No talking, yeah, my mom's a kid.